this panel is about, to me, is about we have the hammer. Okay. So we have to look for the nails. <laughs> I know for uh, cloud computing, you have large customers like Amazon, Google, uh, Apple. Those are the big vendors. They have lots of data. But when you come to adopting cloud computing in business organizations, and the uh, questions are different. Uh, a lot of people think about security as a major issue in uh, adopting cloud computing. But uh, I've done some uh, research with my doctoral students. We have found that, in fact, security is not the main concern. It's really the complexity, the uncertainty about managing the data, managing the process. And also, you think, think about it. If you are a CIO, you have a IT department, a few hundred people. You are going to adopt cloud computing. You're going to fire your own people, right? Or at least change the job they are doing now. Much like Gorbachev doing uh, change economic reform, and then ended up taking away his own job. Right? So that's the politic aspect. But the other aspect I'm going to talk about here is really uh, you need interface between cloud computing services and the business services. Somebody has to manage the business services, aggregate the data, and put that into the clouds. So my message is actually uh, very simple. We have to find a way to aligning and businesses and technologies. Everybody knows this, it's cloud computing architecture. And we all seen those buzzwords. Infrastructure as service, platform as service, and software as a service. So that's not what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to uh, show you some concepts in business service uh, structures. What is a business service? It has to have a business model that uh, uh, sustains the service providing company. You have to uh, sell your service to companies first. And they have to have the information model that both the service providers and users agree on how data is created, maintained, and used. It's not that simple. Nowadays, everything is done internally. Uh, you don't need to write a contract. It's a lot of interaction between people, a lot of reports and word of mouth. Okay? It's a lot of politics within the company. Every year, um, units will submit requests for projects. And then there is a committee. There's a lot of you know, haggling and, and you know, a negotiation. But now, if you put everything externally with a cloud computing company, it's much more serious. And you lose a, a, a personal touch. So just defining this information model is not that simple. Uh, mutual understanding and value co-production between service providers and receivers. Okay. You know the, the joke about Americans send a contract to India, and both think that they understand the contract perfectly. At the end, the Americans and Indians don't agree about the quality of the product. It's because there are a lot of informal understanding, difficult to document. And also, of course, the technology structure that supports the business information services. And I'm not so sure we are clear on how to do this yet. At least there is no textbook in teaching uh, business school students on how to do this. Uh, in terms of business services, okay, and they are not all the same. So I do classify them down to uh, a level, a scale that is more uniform, easier to define. If you look at companies, there are different uh, functions. Okay. Information technology, human resources, sales and marketing, finance, administrative. And most of these business services can benefit from cloud computing services. Okay. 
but you have to aggregate them. Right? You cannot just uh, do it piecemeal. And cloud computing service companies cannot handle thousands of requests, thousands of uh, units of management. And if you look at from the economic sectors, okay, uh, services can be classified as business services and other services. Okay. Within business services, you can have computer services and also other business services. And all business services require information processing and therefore need cloud computing services, at least potentially. Okay. But again, those services have to be transformed and linked interface with cloud computing services. So it's a, it's a mapping between the business and the technology. Okay. And luckily, uh, nowadays, services is a word that can be understood by both computer scientists and business people. But the matching, linking, uh, will need a lot of effort. Okay. And just show you some diagrams on how business uh, services can be very complex. What you see here is a supply chain relationship. On the left-hand side, you have supply, supplier's value chain. On the right-hand side, you have buyer's value chain. So we're, looking, we're talking about a step in the supply chain. And then horizontally, you can see that uh, there's digital content, and there's also physical objects. Okay. So and the value agreement, <laughs> And the flow of information and flow of processes make it difficult to understand between the service providers and service uh, users. And things also change. And if you look at from the types of services, you can have products, you have process, for the supply chain. And it will be people who work on products and other people work on processes. Okay. If you want to offer cloud computing services, you have to talk their language. You have to understand their business model. Okay. Another way of looking at products, process, and supply chain is open it up and look at inside. For product, you have to understand the design and understand the architecture. For process, you have you know, unit process or activities. And you also have the business system, such as manufacturing. Uh, in supply chain, you have different architecture. Depends on the type of product, whether or not it's efficiency-oriented supply chain or it's innovation-oriented supply chain. They require very different business services. For innovation supply chain, you have to get to the market. You have to beat the market. Like you sell, uh, say, sprint, uh, uh, you know, surfing boards. You have to have it, the best design. will make you money. On the other hand, efficiency-oriented supply chain is all about reducing cost. Okay. So that will lead to a different technology and different architectures. Again, just give you a taste of to manage business process, you have to understand all those. And then you aggregate the information you give to the cloud computing service providers. Okay. Another uh, perspective is when you talk about business services, the size of the company matters. Uh, we have Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. I added a new column called design as a service. In fact, uh, many companies have unique information requirements, unique business service requirements. And the design keep on changing. Okay. 
just to have the infrastructure, the platform, and serve, uh, software, it's not enough. Okay. Somebody has to manage this. Of course, if you are a cloud computing uh, provider, you say, hey, I don't care about that. Okay. Let, let other people worry about it. But who will do that? Okay. Somebody has to do it. And you have to talk to those people. You have to make deals with those people who understand the business services. Otherwise, there's no deal. Okay. You're not going to talk to you know, 100,000 companies individually. As a cloud computing service provider, you just don't have the manpower, the expertise to do it. I learned this by talking to uh, super computing centers in Shenzhen, China. Okay. In fact, they spend a lot of money buying the technology, but they're running uh, at very low capacity because there's just no data inside. Okay. And you have to find a way to you know, collect those contents and manage the business services. Otherwise, they will not use your uh, data center. So to me, design as a service is very important from the business service perspective. Of course, for cloud computing, you don't really care. But somebody has to care. So I, uh, if we agree, we can use two words. One is cloud service provider, uh, CSP, or business service provider, BSP. Uh, they have to work together because somebody must manage the service content and the processes. And the cloud service, therefore, need to interface with many business services, and each cloud service provider also need to talk to many business service providers. That's what you saw before. Uh, business services have many uh, types and can be complex. Uh, so the business service providers will obtain the content and the information, and the cloud service providers will offer services to the business service providers instead of talking to companies directly. So just to summarize, uh, business services are <coughs> company and function specific. And I hope that's uh, uh, very clear to you. And business services are complex and dynamic. And business services, as a result, difficult to scale up. In other words, you get data from each company, and somebody had to aggregate and manage the changes. And business service providers are front ends of cloud computing service providers. We have yet to figure out how to link business services with cloud computing services. I think that's where a lot of research can be done. And that should be the focus of the uh, service economics conference. Thank you.